see the plants in this raised bed are really struggling. And what we're noticing here is that the soil that was used to fill this bed was very high in salts. When soils are high in salts, it becomes difficult for the plants to absorb enough water through their roots. Some of the other symptoms you might notice is that the plants are very wilty and look very thirsty even though you're watering heavily, or you may notice a white crust on the soil. Some plants are more sensitive to salts than others. Carrots and beans and strawberries, for example, are quite salt sensitive. Some plants like squash and asparagus and beets are actually quite salt tolerant. There are a couple of things you can do if you have high salts in your soils. One is to keep the surface of the soil mulched, which reduces the evaporation of water off the soil surface. And another thing you can do is to try and leach the salts down below the rooting zone of the plants. Leaching requires a lot of clean water, so it's important if you have salts in your garden also to check the salt content of your irrigation water. In a situation like this where you're bringing in soil to fill a raised bed, your best option is to avoid salty soil in the first place. You can always take a sample into your local extension office and ask them for help on testing for salts. And they can also provide you a list of salt tolerant landscape and garden plants. From the University of Wyoming Extension, I'm Caitlin Youngquist and you're watching From the Ground Up.